In our last video, we told you what a relay's purpose is. In this video, we'll give you more information on the parameters and how to select a relay. For this example, I'm going to search for an automotive relay. My specifications are going to be 12 volt coil, 10 amp capacity, single pole double throw, and non-latching. And we'll see where that takes us. So first off, we'll start with our products selection, and then we'll scroll down to the product category that we're looking for. So once we get to our relays, subcategory. We can see there's several different selections there for automotive, power relays, signal relays, solid state relays. Today we're going to be focusing on the automotive relays. First thing I like to do once I get into the category is to select in stock so we're only looking at products that are currently available. For contact rating I had mentioned I am needing something with a 10 amp capacity so we'll select anything that's 10 amps and above that. And then we'll go ahead and select apply filters. So as you can see, we've narrowed it down to 140 results, so we'll continue selecting parameters. For the contact form, I'm looking for single pole double throw, so I'll go ahead and select that. For the mounting type, we can select pretty much anything that's not on a circuit board. I'll be connecting wires to this, so we'll go and select chassis mount, free hanging, and socketable. With those parameters selected, we're down to 31 results. I'll scroll down and look at relays that'll work for me. Because it looks like most of these will work, I'm going to sort by price and select from there. I've selected this relay from Panasonic. I'm gonna go through and just make sure all the specs line up with what I'm needing. Coil voltage matches, single pole double throw, contact form. It has a rating of 35 amps, so that exceeds what I'm requiring by far. I like that this relay is fully sealed, so when it's in the car, dust and dirt won't affect it at all. Let's go over each specification and what it means. Here we can see this relay has a non-latching coil type. That means once power is removed from the coil, the spring-loaded contacts will return to their original position. On a latching relay, coils will maintain their position after coil voltage is removed. To return contacts back to their previous position, coil voltage will need to be reversed. Next we can see our coil current is 125 milliamps. That's the amperage that the coil will consume while it's active. Coil voltage is the voltage we expect to apply to the coil. The contact form is single pole double throw. This information was covered in the last video if you're looking for more details. The contact rating is the maximum amperage the contacts can carry. Loads under this amperage are acceptable. Switching voltage is the maximum voltage the contacts can switch. Relays will often have both a DC and AC rating. Must operate voltage is the coil voltage in which the contacts must engage. Must release voltage is the coil voltage in which contacts must release. Operate time is the time that it takes from application of coil voltage to contacts engaging. Release time is the time it takes from removal of coil voltage to contacts releasing. Hopefully this video gave you a better understanding of relay terminology. If you need assistance selecting relays or any other product from the DigiKey website, our Applications Engineering Department is available 24/7. Thanks for watching. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.